Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode, we are taking a look at the Mora Outdoor Orange Kit. This consists of two parts, a belt knife and a camp ax. Go ahead and get comfortable, let's get started. So my friends, to begin, let's go ahead and start with the camp ax. As you can see here, this is a very small little hatchet. Definitely a camp ax, it's very lightweight. This comes in at only 18 ounces. So just a little bit more than one pound. The handle from tip to tip is 12 and a half inches long. And this thing is very sharp indeed. Now going back to the weight, with a weight like this, this is perfect for even backpackers. Uh, most of the time your typical ax, camp axes go away a couple of pounds. So just a little bit more than one pound, that's not bad at all. Certainly this will fit easily into any bushcrafter's backpack. Now what you are looking at here is boron steel with an epoxy coating over the top of it. This is a Scandi grind. On the back side of the ax, you do have the pommel. Now as you can see here, it does have a contoured handle, which is also reinforced. Very, very strong. It feels amazing in the hand. It doesn't feel like it's going to go anywhere. It doesn't feel like you need to reset your hand when you're using it. Very nice. Now when you're looking at the blade length, this is three and a half inches. And the head itself is four and a half inches. The Campax does come with a leather sheath. Very simple, but very effective. As you can see, it has that clasp, the snap on it. So now that we've taken a look at the axe, why don't we go over to the knife? Essentially, this is the Mora 2000. This is a very well-known knife, no doubt about it. As you can see here, this does have a plastic sheath, kind of an eggshell sort of texture to it. It does have a piece of leather here for your belt loop. It also has two drainage holes down at the bottom. Now, some people love Mora's sheaths. Some people absolutely hate them. I don't personally mind them. I don't mind the plastic nature. I am a fan of leather though, so in the future I may replace this, like I do with my other ones, with a leather sheath. Here's the blade itself. Now with the knife you're looking at an overall length of 8.8 .8 inches with a blade length of 4.3 inches. This is made from razor sharp high carbon stainless steel 12C27 cold rolled so it's very strong but at the same time it's also very thin and you can see there how it tapers down at the point this does have a Scandinavian grind on it and this bad boy weighs only five ounces very light indeed when it comes to the handle Essentially, you are looking at plastic with a rubberized grip. In the hand, it feels good, just like every other Mora out there. When it comes to knives, Mora is some of the best value. There's just no doubt about it. Now, since it's a beautiful day, we're outside in the woods, we might as well use our axe. We'll go ahead and just do a little bit of chopping here. Now, of course, when it comes to using an axe, using a hatchet, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Some ways are very safe. Some ways are very dangerous. I highly suggest that you get some time and some education when it comes to using a hatchet, when it comes to using a camp axe, when it comes to using a regular axe. I cannot begin to tell you how many people I have seen use axes in very unsafe waves. I, I've seen a number of YouTubers do the same thing. Eventually, someone is going to whop themselves right in the shin. It happens all the time. I see it happen all the time. So. Yep, before you go out and you start using an axe, using a hatchet, please get a little bit of education. Protect yourself. It's very easy just to get out there and start swinging and really, really hurt yourself. So, there you go. So, why don't we go ahead and get started? There we go. Perfect. This is a chunk of the apple tree which fell down, almost killed us one night when we were camping out here. Now, I want you to watch me as I swing here. I'm on my knees, I'm up high, and I'm also diverting all of the energy forward and down. That way, when I swing, there's no way that this blade is going to deflect and hit my legs. I'm going from one side to the other, now we'll strike the middle. 
just like that. Now, when I bust through that wood, I'm controlling the swing. I'm controlling the angle of the axe. So again, I don't go through and hit myself. And that right there is perfect for burning. Take a look at the grain here. Perfect. Now, in the future, I will do a video more about axe safety and how to go about processing wood. For now, we're just using this axe. We're just testing it out. We'll finish up with this piece right here. Gosh, that is super sharp. Just like that. Super simple, super fast. That thing is so sharp, my friends. I mean, look at that. Can easily make a feather stick. Perfect. All right, we've been playing with the ax for a while, so why don't we switch over to the knife? And let's go ahead and make a tent peg. Very, very simple thing to do, and this is a very, very long one. You would use this in snow, something like that. So, let's go ahead and take our stick here, and we'll go ahead and break it, and let's get started. There we go. So let's go ahead and do this here. Put the knife down low like so. And we're just gonna pull that stick back. And already that's, that's pretty darn good. You can see that. All right, go to the other side. All right. With a blade this sharp, you have to have really good control. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, we could spend all day carving around on this. But as you can see here, very, very simple tent stake. Very sharp indeed. So, let's just go ahead and reform that edge, shall we? <clears throat> Very nice. I mean, look at that.
this knife here is so incredibly sharp here. And as you can see, that Scandinavian grind on it, I mean, it just goes through the wood like it's butter. It's very, very impressive. But of course, Mora's are impressive in general. Definitely, they're some of the best knives out there, especially for the money. Very nice. So I'm sure you are wondering, what about feather sticks? Now, of course, with a knife like this, you know it's gonna do really, really well. Oh yeah, I mean, you could, you can get it as fine as you want. I mean, look at that. Or, you can get it as burly as you want it. Now, I'm sure you're thinking, with the Mora kit, gosh, this sure is bright. I'm sure some of you will not like this orange color. Well, there's a reason for this. There's a reason to the madness. The orange color is for high visibility in the woods and in the snow. Now, Mora does offer a green version of this, but they don't have a green kit. Now, going back to the price, this runs $56 brand new on Amazon. I picked this up for about $25 off of the climb. They had some sort of sale and I use a coupon code, something or other. So, I mean, I got this very, very cheaply and I'm super duper impressed with it. I love Mora, no doubt about it. When it comes to knives, when it comes to blades, they're the best bang for the buck out there. There's not many companies who can actually give Mora a run for the money for the quality. It's impressive. So yes, for $56, you get the Mora 2000 knife. And if you were to purchase this separately, this would cost you $30. You also get the Camp Axe. If you were to purchase this separately, this would cost you $46. So right there, you're spending 70 bucks. Or you could just buy the kit and save a great deal of money. Certainly very high quality, very lightweight, as mentioned. Perfect for even a backpacker, a weight-conscious backpacker. Get those spider webs off there. Definitely, if you're a bushcrafter, you can't beat that. So my friends, that's our look at the Mora Outdoor Orange Kit. If you guys have any questions for me, please feel free. Drop me a line, let me know. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. And I'll see you guys around. Strength and honor, my friends. Be well.